All right then, gang, so we've already seen in Beautify that it gives us these different keywords or classes for colors, things like orange or purple, etc. And we can use those classes to colorize our different elements. But it also gives us a default theme. And this theme is basically a series of keywords again that we can use as classes. And they are success, error, warning, info. We also have other keywords such as primary, secondary, and accent but they are default theme colors. So if we use the class info, it's gonna give us this color. If we use warning, it's gonna give us this color, error this, etc. success this. So if, for example, I go over here and change this from indigo to success, like so, then we're gonna get that color over here, okay? Same again, if I change this to warning, then we're gonna get the warning color which is yellow. And like I said, we also have primary and secondary. So if I do primary right here, then we can see that it's changed it to this blue color. So this is the primary color of the theme at the minute. Now then, what if I didn't want this default theme? What if instead I wanted to override these theme colors so that when I type primary, I get my own color? Or if I type warning or error or success, I get my own color? Well, we can override this default theme. And we do that inside the plugins folder inside Beautify. So remember before I said that this thing, when we use this Beautify plugin, this second parameter, this object is some settings for our Beautify setup. And already we've said icon font is MD for material design. Now we can also specify here a theme. So this is an object and this object can be used to control our different theme keywords. So what I'm gonna do is just paste these in and you can see I want to override the primary, the success keyword, the info keyword, and the error keyword. And I've created my own hex codes for these. So this primary, this is kind of like a purple color. This success is a light greeny blue color. Uh, this info I think is an orangey color and the error is a pinky red. Okay, so I've just added those in and this will override these keywords inside Beautify now. So now if I use the primary class, I'm not gonna get the default primary theme, I'm gonna get this color. So if we go back to app.view or rather navbar.view, I'm still using primary, whereas before we got blue, if we save and view this in a browser and open this up, now I'm getting that purpley color, which was this thing right here, okay? So let me just show you a couple of different things. I'm gonna use these down here, so class, is equal to warning. Did I do warning? I don't know. Nope, but did info, so let's do info instead. Save that, and we can see now this is an orange color. Let's do success. Save that. Now we get that greeny color, and also let's now do error, and we should get the pinky red color right there, okay? So now we've overridden the default theme with our own colors right there.